Have you seen this video of the trader Alessio Rastani who went on the BBC and corporate mainstream media, basically their jaws dropped about what he was saying regarding the markets and recoveries and making money in Goldman Sachs and financial industries. And when I saw it, I said, he's exaggerating a little bit. He's being mostly accurate. But the only people who would be shocked by this are people who only pay attention to corporate mainstream media because independent media, like our program, talks about the fact that financial companies don't care if the economy does well or doesn't do well and don't care about people. We've been talking about that for years. Mm -hmm. Here's some of that uh, interview, which has gone completely viral and has gotten this guy plenty of attention, which I guess is most likely what he wanted. Investors happy, make them feel more confident. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, personally, uh, it doesn't matter. That, that's, see, I'm a trader. Uh, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I go with what the, uh, I, if I see an opportunity to make money, I go with that. Um, so for most traders, it's not about, it's that we don't really care that much how they're going to fix the economy, how they're going to fix the, uh, the whole situation. Our job is to make money from it. And personally, I've been dreaming of this moment for three years. Uh, I, I, I have a confession, which is, uh, I go to bed every night, I dream of another recession. I dream of another moment like this. Why? Because uh, people don't seem to uh, maybe remember, but uh, the 30s depression, the depression in the 30s, wasn't just about a market crash. There were some people who were prepared to make money from that crash. And I think anybody can do that. It, it isn't just for some people in the elite. Anybody can actually make money. It's an opportunity. Uh, when the market crashes, uh, when the euro and the big stock markets crash, if you know what to do, um, if, if you have the right plan to set up, uh, you, can, you can make a lot of money from this. Uh, uh, for example, hedging strategies is one. Um, then investing in bonds, treasury bonds, that sort of stuff. If you could see the people around me, jaws have collectively dropped at what you've just said. Okay, I mean, so on that, if jaws are dropping, it's because you're not paying attention. And we know corporate mainstream media is not paying attention. We know everything this guy is saying. He's being honest and he's being direct about it, but it's not news, right? I mean, we know about the control that these organizations have over the markets, over manipulation, whose interests they have. It's really not surprising. Let's continue. We, we appreciate your candor. However, it doesn't help the rest of us, does it, or the rest of the Eurozone? I, I would say this. Listen, I would say this to everybody who's watching this. This economic crisis is like a cancer. If you just wait and wait thinking this is going to go away, just like a cancer, it's going to grow and it's going to be too late. What I would say to everybody is get prepared. Uh, this is not a time right now to um, wishful thinking the government is going to sort things out. The governments don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. Goldman Sachs does not care about this rescue package, neither does the big funds. So okay. So my thought on this is, it's great that he's being honest. People wondered if it was a prank. No, it was no prank. 400 people own the same amount of wealth as everyone else. Why, why on earth would you think that these huge financial services companies are acting in the interests of the everyone else? They're acting in their own best interests. Uh, by the way, none of this is news. Again, it's just unusual to hear it from insiders. It's a little bit overly simplistic. It's accurate in reality. The only thing I would argue is Goldman Sachs doesn't rule the world, but banks and financial services companies are as or more powerful than politicians. That's the only issue I can take with what Alessio Rastani said. Right. And in general, I think telling people to be prepared is great. It's good advice. Well, most people don't know what it means to be prepared in the sense that he is saying. But the reality is, you know, the financial sector makes money from people making money or people losing money. And we talk about it all the time on non-mainstream news. This would, is would you say the only reason we don't hear about this on mainstream news is because of corporate influence? Absolutely. It's, uh, this is only a shocking revelation. Because, pay... I mean, this is the type of thing that would be, you know, fear, scaring people. I mean, that's good news. That's what If you only makes pay attention want. a tiny bit and you suddenly see Alessio Rastani on BBC saying this, you might be shocked a little bit. But remember... Most media outlets have corporate interests that dictate what they do and don't report on. So naturally, you're not really going to get this honest take on most corporate mainstream media outlets. It also confirms that what's good for financial services industry uh, members is not necessarily good for the general public 
or, or maybe even necessarily isn't good in many cases. I'm just not at all surprised by this. People, people, people's jaws dropping, as the BBC reporter said, I couldn't be less surprised. I couldn't be less uh, confused. This is this is obvious to me. No, we were only surprised because it was it was said on uh, on BBC, this, right? Yeah. On today's bonus show, we'll talk about a teacher penalizing a student for saying "bless you" in class. You might be surprised at our take on it. Also, Bill O'Reilly and John Stewart clashing, and I just don't believe Bill O'Reilly's claim that if his taxes go up to fifty percent. A lot of millionaires will stop doing what they do. Just makes no sense. Also, is vigilante justice rising in Mexico a good or a bad thing? What needs to happen there? And a lot more. So if you're not getting the bonus show, you should be going to davidpackman.com slash membership and signing up. There is also now video of the bonus show. Things are pretty relaxed in here, I would say, Lewis, during that, that uh, bonus show. Although sometimes you do put your shoes back on for the bonus show, I will admit. Mm -hmm. A little bit more formal, so to speak. Yeah, usually when it's a little colder in here. Exactly. And as Lewis is uh, modeling for us, the David Pakman Show t-shirts made from 100% recycled materials are available at davidpakman.com slash gear. So we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about the Obama heckler. We'll talk about my seafood fears as a result of the Listeria outbreak. A lot more. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. <laughs> 